What'd you say? I said they have really good grass. Like green grass. <laughs> A lot of it. <laughs> Unlike mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Okay, so while we're going through this multi-day thing over on the next door neighbor's lawn, I'm also gonna start working and prepping my little green space. And uh, the only problem that I found is I cannot find peat moss anywhere. Either everybody's out of it or they're not bringing it in or, or I don't know what's going on. So that might be something I have to add in later, but I'm gonna dig this thing down a little bit, remove some of those sprinkler lines that are in it because they're just silly, stupid, and they don't work anyway. I'm gonna end up sprinkling some of this topsoil back on it when it's done and watering it just by hand uh, for the next little while. And uh, I'm gonna give it a couple little soil treatments as we go and I'll talk about that as we do it. So I'll get back over to the other place. All right, so while they're continuing to work on this, let's go take a look at the lawn here real quick because we're gonna be doing some stuff, getting this whipped into shape. And, okay, so just to look back behind, we're mainly dealing with bluegrass here. There's a little spots of, you know, where like drought damage had allowed some tall fescue to creep in. Um, already started kind of working out, cutting some of the beds in to, to clear the grass out. But right where I am here, this is a fairly heavily shaded spot. I look over my shoulder back here. This is, gets kind of a little more compacted. The dog runs around here and it's just one of those areas that doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight. So this will be a little more of a challenge point. But we've got tons of good sun up top, so there's no trouble there. Uh, good irrigation here, which we're gonna turn on and take a look at. And then let's roll around to the front side real quick. Here we are out front, just came through the gate. Nice flat spot here. Now years ago, um, my friends Grant and Debbie, when they owned this place, they had a playground here. This was their one flat spot where the kids played the most. So a couple of things to note out here. Uh, the septic tank is buried inside this section. So this does get some extra water. I could wager that this little spot right here has something to do with that also. We'll see about that. So nice level area, pretty lumpy. You can feel it's kind of a little bit hard, but then they also have this pretty steep hill to contend with out here, which makes mowing a little bit of a challenge. See right across here, I've got a heck of a slope. All right, so I'm gonna take a very similar approach to what I did at Boomer's house. I'm gonna bring the John Deere over and scalp the living crap out of this because it's still early, it's still cool, and uh, you know we may get the benefit of some of these spring rains. But I think that we can clear out a lot of the stuff that's in here and kind of make it look a little bit better. So here's the plan. It's gonna get cut. I'm gonna hit it with air eight. I'm gonna hit it with 1801. And then I'm gonna follow up with RGS in about a week or so. I still have to go pick some of that up. It's down at my yard about 45 miles away. So I gotta bring that up. And then we'll be busting out flora green up top, getting all the seeds and starts planted. And uh, we'll be watching this progress over the next few days. It's gonna be pretty fun. I changed my mind. I'm not going to use the John Deere on this. I'm actually going to get my old Scott's reel mower over here and cut it down that way. I think that's going to be way more fun pushing it up and down this hill. It's going to be great. I'm going to record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs>
All right, so she's cut. Took that thing down to about an inch and a half is all the lower that that Scots will go. It still provides just a killer, killer clean cut for like a 60 or $70 mower. When I bought that thing, I, uh, I got it at Home Depot, got into the checkout line, and uh, uh, the checker, the lady, she said, uh, you want this mower? And I said, yeah, yeah, I do. It's perfect for what I need it for. And she said, um, you know, we have a six month return warranty or uh, guarantee, so you could use it all summer and just bring it back if it's too much of a pain in the ass. Nope. Not today, stupid. So anyway, she's cut. Uh, I'm actually gonna go grab a hose and uh, the ortho, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with uh, Air 8 first. I'm gonna hit this whole thing. Uh, I reckon there's about uh, maybe 3,500 square feet here. I'm I'm gonna do a, a quick count. I might be a little off, it might be about 3,000, but that's what it felt like. And um, we'll go ahead and do uh, as much as we can out of the backyard with the Air 8. I'm gonna do, this is pretty solid. It's rock hard. Um, so I'm gonna hit it with a nine ounce rate of Air 8. Just, just hit it pretty hard. And then I'm gonna follow it up with a full rate. Um, I'm gonna go heavy, 21 ounces of 1801 over the top and uh, decide what else. So we're gonna talk about putting the Easy Flow and the 402 on the garden. Uh, the kids and everybody are gonna start getting that planted here in a second. And then uh, we'll just kind of keep rolling on. Hmm. And now a word from our sponsor, Rikers Island Chemical Quartet, Prison Riot Family Conglomerate Company. From the makers of Hydrate, Real Break, and Rusted Rake, comes the last hose you will ever buy, Pila Hose. Pila Hose is the must-have tool for every yard care enthusiast, guaranteed to hang up on everything. Be too long to be practical. With over a thousand feet in every pile, you'll ask yourself, did I even turn the water on? Pila Hose is guaranteed to add frustration to your day. With our patented suck and pile technology, it'll always be a mess right where you left it. So go on, coil that hose. It doesn't matter. It returns to its original shape every time. But wait, there's more. For a limited time, you can get our pile of hose rolling cart. Simply place inside. Because trying to coil a hose is absolute bull So remember pile of hose. When things are going easy, you just need pile of hose. From Rikers Island, Family Chemical Company Quartet Prison Riot Family Brand. So I'm currently knocking out air rate. That's what's going on right now. And uh, we have super low water pressure over here. Interestingly enough, so this takes a little longer. Um, but you can see the 1801 app's been done and um, with the grass cut and kind of getting it down to a different level, we kind of evened out the color just a little bit. So the garden's also almost done. We're about to start planting, but I'm gonna get the rest of this air rate app out. Uh, and now we have a sprinkler pipe to repair up top. See if we can get the easy flow dialed in and uh, get everything seated and, and going. So it's moving along pretty good. We're about uh, oh four hours in right now, so that's not too bad. Shirts really make my arms look huge. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah.
here's how this is going to go for now. I've got about an inch and a half of sand here. I am going to water it down and I'm going to get a roller and roll it, but that's not going to happen today. That's going to be something that I do uh, over the next couple days because I want to start putting water on it to let it sort of filter down and start to pack on its own. And then I'll do more sand and then hopefully by that time I can actually find some peat to blend in and then we'll seed through it. So. I mean, this just this portion of prep, I'm actually gonna give myself a few days on, so I'll be doing this over the course of the next couple videos. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of where it's gonna be for now, and the kids are gonna just stomp on it all the time. So it doesn't really matter, I just wanna get this to sort of pack in. So I'm gonna go ahead and water it down, and then we'll go check out the other lawn. So one thing I totally left out of the garden video, before I get back onto the lawn here, is how I set this up to be planted. So everything's on a slope which actually means the dirt on this end of the garden is deeper than back there. And you could find kind of where the bottom was on that backside and start to hit rocks. So I laid it out with low lying stuff along the front, taller growing towards the back. Okay, so the whole front has carrots and radishes. So we've got our roots because I really want those to go down deep and putting it in the soft soil is a little better option. Then we've got loads of cucumbers and peas uh, in different order, cucumbers first thin peas. Over on the far side over here, there's a couple of squash and the back side are all the tomatoes. And there may be a couple other little surprise things in there, but it was important to me to make sure that we had the uh, root vegetables on the front side so they have the greatest chance of tracking and following water and getting deep so we get bigger ones. Cool? Okay. Let's look at the lawn. So firstly, I just want you to look at the color of this over just the course of three days. So here it was before. And here it is now. I mean, we have definitely lit this place up. But again, even in the just couple days, here's something that's really changed a lot. Remember I pointed out this compacted area where the grass was the most brown. We're filling this in already just in a couple days. Now I have not hit this yet with RGS, so that still has to happen. And I actually picked it up this morning. I, I made the drive really early this morning and got that. So I've got five gallons of it sitting in the back of my truck. So now let's look at the front real quick. Front color has totally changed and started to even out already. This thing is changing really, really quickly. I love it, but there's one spot that I want to go look at in particular where it was sort of the most beat up as it were. And that's all the way over here on the side. We got our sprinklers working this area on this side. I'm just gonna do a quick shot over my shoulder. And we'll put up the before on that. Here, this is looking very nice. So even down here on the hillside, we've gotten the rest of this to start to flush up. And it's looking really good already. This is fast, this is really super fast. So. I want everybody to remember, here's what was done. All I ran on this so far was 1801, and I ran at a 21 ounce rate, and I also ran air eight. I did those two together. RGS is coming, but since this is gonna be one of my project lawns, I get to do it on my own time. But just look at this. This will be a fun area, but it's already started to change as well. There was some fade out. Look at that, up the hill. Beautiful. Eighteen oh one and air eight. So, I hope everybody's starting to get a little bit of a an idea of the pattern that I'm running on some of these project lawns. One of the biggest things I want to see first is to make sure that the ground isn't compacted. I want to make sure they've got a good mow, and then I want to feed it but this thing jumped i mean jumped jumped and now the statement from the beginning of the video i said they have really good grass is absolutely correct let's get a pretend drone shot of this
so I've got to continue on with projects today. I have so much to do today, and that'll be in an upcoming video. Some of those things that I mentioned about the improvements and landscape changes are happening today. So, ah, uh, there's bark coming, and I'm gonna be spreading like crazy. But here's the deal. So all of this is gonna get cleaned up. Flowers are gonna get planted. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find my peat moss, but you can see I added a little tear. The cup is gonna be on that end under the tree. See that nice sun that we've got over there? That's really nice. So this I'll just kind of keep wet, let it sort of self-level, and then I'll get a roller over here before and probably during uh, the seeding process, and we'll have a putting green in no time. So I, I guess I'm gonna keep going here. So on the back side, I piled all that extra topsoil and stuff up against the back. Uh, we're actually gonna put bark in there and throw some flowers in there as well, since this is actually gonna be getting watered right here. I figured we might as well put a little color behind it and uh, this thing will all be nice and level and actually kind of a hard putt. So, you know, should be fun. Anyway, that's it on this video today. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you wanna throw some criticism towards what I'm doing here, I'd love it. Do it. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. See ya.